Welcome to the Critical Coolest. I'm The Monk and today I'm in Wasteland 3 doing another build guide. So recently I got asked if I could show them, show you guys a basic um, build guide for a leader. Um, I'd already recently done a leader but they wanted a level 1 leader so I'm going to show the setup I would use and they also requested it to be shotguns. So again I'm going to just show you what I would use on shotguns too. So for background, we have got uh, Goat Killer. Um, I'm also going to show you the max maxed out end game version of this character too. I think it could really, really work. I'm not really a fan of shotguns myself, but I think this guide could really, really work. So this is the exact stat layout that I would use right at the beginning of the game. Um, and then after that, you want to increase uh, coordination because you're going to want that AP to actually get your shots off. Shotguns typically cost three AP. Um, therefore, we want max coordination to get as many shots off as possible. Strength, we're going to take to eight for the uh, power armor. And intelligence, we're going to max for the critical hit chance. After that, charisma, we are also going to max. Now, the reason we're going to max charisma is because the precision strike... Uh, that you get on shotguns is amazing. It really is the best part of a shotgun build. Uh, it's completely devastating. And because of that, we want to be able to use it as many times as possible. Therefore, actually having a leader shotgun build is very, very viable, especially if you want to use a shotgun. Anyway, I would possibly recommend uh, actually changing your shotgun um, ammunition with an underbarrel that actually puts um, fire damage on it maybe just buffs it up that little bit more uh, on small arms we are going to take that to eight um, as we want the the last perk there for the shotguns animal whisper we are only going to have that at one everything else is pretty simple really we have got mechanic and survival really just to help us stack those damage buffs that we get um with the perks there we've also got uh level five on leadership for both of the leadership perks unfortunately the especially rally that's broken at the moment that doesn't actually work one that went once, once that is fixed it will be really good we've also taken weird science up here because like i said the damage output on those kind of weapons is really good and then we have put as many points as we can into first aid um, now obviously the weird science all depends on which weapons you actually have available to you at the moment but remember that they can be modded uh, you can change them to I believe you can do all of the damage types with that um, so it's something to look out for you can buy it from the shops it's really handy and of course with this loadout again and with all my recent loadouts we are doing serial killer perk or quirk sorry uh, for the 3 AP that you're going to get for actually killing somebody um, and on a shotgun build that means you get another free hit which is really good again you could use something like circus freak i think circus freak is probably my second favorite quirk out of uh, all of them here it gives you that movement speed to actually get into the battle you're going to need a little to do a little bit of running with this character so that could be where you want to do that from so into the setup the loadout and exactly what we would wear for this build, like I said, we have gone for a double shotgun. You can actually change the shotguns for a um, a wider cone or a narrower cone for the long range and, cl and close range. Or you could go for different types of um, weird science guns. You could do one that targets humans and one that targets robots, for instance. Um, it really is up to you. Uh, on this shotgun, I have actually just gone for the basic shotgun, but what I have done is modded it so its critical hit chance is that 5% extra. So you've actually got 30% critical hit chance with just um, what we've got on him at the moment. And of course, um, that little mod that we've put in. We have got the healing station and the first aid pack, and we have actually given him the... Um, scalpels as well for that plus one on first day that we couldn't actually fit in earlier we've gone for the chem legs uh, for the 0.2 movement speed nine armor and it's got the healing bonus remember this guy is our medic leader and of course he's our shotgun sergeant and then we've gone for power armor chest for the 21 armor 
And for Helmet, we have gone for the Commandant's Helmet. It gives us an extra 15 critical chance. It gives uh, 6 armor, and you got some initiative there too. If you can't actually or don't have the Commandant's Helmet, again, I can do a video on how to get it if you don't know. But instead of that, you could always go for, what's it called? The Spectrum Assault Helmet, which actually gives us 12% uh, critical hit chance and 8 armor. Anyway, on to the perks. We have gone for Devastation. Shotgun attacks gain 25% damage for each enemy they, they hit by the same shot. Now remember that these shotguns have quite a big range, quite a big, not range, sorry, a cone of view. They're going to hit a lot of people. This is quite a big damage buff here. Uh, it's definitely going to be good. Next one we're going to get is clear cover. Shotguns do 100% damage versus cover. It's really good. You're going to take it all out. People ain't going to be hiding from you. That's for damn sure. And after that, we have got Shredder Shot. Fires a shotgun shell that inflicts bleeding damage on anyone hit. Deals 100% damage against targets with armor damage. Very interesting. And on success, it applies bleeding, which is quite good. And that finishes up all of our small arm perks. Um, after that, we're going to go down to first aid. And the first one we're going to get is emergency response. So when an ally is down in battle, you gain one movement speed for two turns. It's really good. I recommend it for every character. Um, I never used to, but I really think it's very good. Hippocratic Oath, you gain 50% damage for two turns after arriving a downed ally. Remember, you are the medic in this build, so it's going to happen quite a lot. It just means you can actually do it and it pays off for doing it. Physical therapy, reviving allies has a chance of buffing them 6% per first aid level. We're actually max, so this is really good. Uh, I don't really like overhealing, so I never really bother with it. When it comes to leadership, the only one I'm going to take is rally. I know it doesn't work right now, but eventually it will work and it will be bloody good too. Basically, what it's supposed to do is give everyone 2 AP in your party. Of course, it, at the moment, it doesn't work. It will be fixed, and it will work, though. We have gone for Mechanic for the 20% buff against robots and vehicles. Nothing new there. I do that in all of my latest builds. Like I said, I really like stacking the damage bonuses. I don't see the harm. If you've got the spare points, you've got the spare perks, it's definitely worth doing. Same with Big Game Hunter. You get an extra 20% damage against animals and mutants. Remember, all this damage that we're getting is completely stackable as well. Microwave Research energy damage is increased by 0 0.5 damage for every point of armor the target has. Now remember, we have developed into weird science and we've got the ability to have those type of guns. This is gonna work really well. And again, overcharge will basically increase those guns again. So this is my shotgun build. This is my leader and he is also my medic. I find he works really, really well in battles. I was actually surprised just how well he works. I'm using him late game. I'm using him on a decent difficulty. And uh, like I said, he is actually a really, really solid and totally usable build. I hope this has helped. Uh, like I said, I actually got requested this build. So again, I really hope that this build is what you were looking for. If you've got any hints or tips or something that you want to change, let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, maybe think about giving it a big like or if you haven't subscribed, maybe think about doing that too, as we are currently trying to chase that big 1,000 subscriber mark. And we're getting there now. You know, we're getting quite a few subscribers lately, so really appreciate all the support. I've been a monk. We've been a critically coolest, and I'll see you in the next video, guys.